Hi, this is Bayer here, and this is half a day into the first league. Oh, rather, half a day into the first day of the league. Sorry. Um, figured I might as well do a date 0 0.5 rather than wait for the day to end. Uh, mostly because I think um, it's probably important for you guys to know some things about the league start. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how it's been so far, and uh, I'll show you the power of the character. So, right now, I'm just going to run all the way to. I just leveled this 45, so. I'm gonna run all the way to uh, the boss, and then after doing the boss, uh, you know, I'll talk about the build. Over, like, I'll use pop, pop, and stuff. So, as you can see, damage is good. I'm, I have, no, I don't have cap res by the way. I have like 30 lightning res and 45 fire. My cold is like over capped, but you know what can, what can you do, yeah? It's not like uh, I can choose the kind of rares I drop. Oops. What did I pick up? That something I picked up. It's the ring. Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually pick it up. No space. You can see the build is pretty tanky. Uh, damage is good. So far, I've spent about three chaos, which is all I've I picked up. Only three chaos so far off the ground. So builds cost me three chaos and about I think six alchemies. E quite easy to get alchemies, to be honest. You just vendor rares. Um, a lot of people would take uh, elks as payment. Um, if you don't have enough chaos, not a lot of people, like some people will. Most people don't want, they just want uh, chaos. Anyway, this guy's so tanky. Oh, because he's chill resistant. Okay. Wait, Jasper is not two handed. I maybe just pick it up from a friend. Oh, never mind, I can't pick it up for him anyway. <laughs> Pretty nutty damage, yeah. If you, if I show you my weapons, you'll be a little shook, because <laughs> it's the weapons I'm using are like super cheap, super accessible weapons. Oops. Wah! Okay. Damage over time is a problem, so it happens. Oops. I also didn't really pay attention. Yikes. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Should not run into that. I don't have lucky block yet. I only have like 65 uh, spell. Or I think 65 attack block and about 50 something spell block. So yeah, it's still possible to die. It's just no. I think I think I have 65 spell block now. Yeah, I have 65 of each block. I just don't have lucky. But yeah, you know, it doesn't make you uh, invincible. It just means you have uh, more room for mistakes. Also, I'm tired as fuck. But whatever. <sighs> okay.
Okay, that was it. Uh, nah, can't really use these. Okay, I'm gonna briefly talk about uh, the items in the build. What, how it cost me six elks and three KL so far, and probably drop a bunch of POBs as well as show you uh, the the build progression in the POB. So right now, if you look at my items, um, I'm using a tempestuous steel ball sword. This is the main hand. And then on the off end, I have a bright beak. Okay, so this this is these are both one L. Okay, uh, one L uh, items. You can buy them for one L each. Um, Temptress feels definitely one L, and bright beak is uh, one or two Ls right now. It really depends on who you're buying it from. Okay, um, what cost me one chaos? Um, Tesalio sign cost me one chaos uh, each. So that's where quite a bit of the your initial currency is going to go there just to get Tessalius. Uh And then the other one, Chaos, went to Dual Strike, strike of Embed Dexterity. Uh, Anvil cost me about three elk so far. So, oh, sorry, yeah, so three elks, and this is one Chaos, one elk. So, altogether, three Chaos, six elks. All right, the rest of the items you kind of just loot off the ground. It's not really that complex. Uh, let's talk about the build and how to progress it. I'm going to run this in POB itself. I'm not going to do this here. And the reason being is because I'm going to show you the progression um, because it involves some form of respect using the league mechanic. All right, let me just open up POB and then swap to it. Okay, okay, here we go in POB and uh, let's look. Add your list. All right, so for the first couple levels, this is how you're going to level, all right? You're going to try to get a two-handed axe with a decent amount of physical attack. And all you're going to do is get splitting steel with chance to bleed uh, support and chance to poison support. You only need a three link, okay? And that three link is going to pretty much carry you to act two. Okay, so you go down here. Uh, you grab this as well, uh, you grab these two for damage, you go up here, okay, you go up here and grab these two, these, this is to help you with mana sustain on your attacks, here, unwavering stance to get uh, stun immunity, path here, oh sorry, path here, uh, get martial experience, this is for uh, two-handed damage as well as some life leech, okay, so, at this point, you're about level 14. You can pretty much push into uh, Act 2 already without any issues. But then you go into Act 2, right? And when you're in Act 2, uh, you're going to do a bit of a respec. Really depends on what you have available. Let's say you've got a couple of... Let's say you've got a couple of Chaos. Just start looking for Tassalio Signs. Um, you don't have to get Dual Strike and Dexterity early. I think Tessalio Signs is pretty much your priority. So one Chaos for each if you do have one Chaos uh, or two Chaos. Um, but what you're going to look for is you want to start getting uh, either two Bright Beaks or one Bright Beak and one Temptress Steel. All right. And when you get the, the, the point at which you swap to these two is when uh, you can unspec these and go here and get this. Okay. And then get... Uh, non-strike skills target an additional enemy okay should be able to get this in act two pretty reasonably and at level 20 uh, <laughs> okay Tempestuous Steel. Dear God, I don't know how to pronounce this. Okay, Tempestuous Steel. Uh, bright Beak. You should have at least this, okay? And what you're going to do is, the skill you're going to use is Smite. If you have I issues of intelligence, you don't have a uh, Lapis Amulet, for example, you add this. But if you have a Lapis Amulet, just, you should be fine, okay? So you're gonna go smite, and you're gonna go um, ruthless, or ancestral call. Ancestral call is not bad too. Ruthless. Okay, and eventually uh, you can swap out ancestral for something like elemental damage of attacks, 
As you can see here, your damage here is good enough. This is 3k DPS. It's more than enough for you to push through Act 2. If you get a Tessalius, uh, okay, and let's add Chill. You should like have this amount of damage. And if you have two Tessalius, which is a bit unlikely because that would be two Chaos, this would be your damage over here. Very, very comfortable pushing attacks. Okay, next, what are you gonna go for? Um, dual strike and be dexterity. You start prioritizing for that once you path to here. Okay, once you get to here, especially this one and this one, you go dual strike and be dexterity. So if you can afford it, swap at this point. Do you have to worry as much about uh, precision or accuracy? No, because your temperature steel has uh, hits can't be evaded. So you're going to, always going to hit with Tempturous Steel. Tempestuous Steel, holy shit. Okay, when do you start getting block nodes? You start getting block nodes when, you get, when you're close to getting your Ascendancy. So that's about level 30 something. So uh, you would path here, get these, get these, uh, get these. And then you grab the uh, life gain when you block. And this. So once you hit your first... Um, I call it uh, ascendancy, uh, which is a determined survivor. Uh, you should have 68% chance to block attack and about 54% chance to block spell. And when you hit 45, you go for uh, anvil. And you should be kind of block capped. Yeah. Uh, next after that is to path for life notes. You're gonna start getting uh, reservation nodes as well because eventually what you're gonna do is you're gonna go life reservation. Take this off. Uh, and then you're gonna go, oh, sorry, uh, blood magic. Uh, yeah, make sure you have decent life on your gear as well. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go for petrified blood and uh, eternal blessing on either determination or pride. I would say determination because I don't think pride is useful at the, for you at the moment. And then uh, rest of it is pretty straightforward. You can like push easily the maps uh, without any problems. Uh, at about fifty or so, you can fifty something or so, you can start going to Ichimonji and Frost Breath. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Uh, Ichimonji is about three to four chaos. I may not. I may want to skip that actually. So we'll see. Um, Bring a rain's also still quite expensive at the moment, so I might just forego that at the moment. But yeah, you can see the progression. It's very smooth, and you should have enough damage to just have no issues. Once you get more than skill, which is the second ascendancy, uh, yeah, you have pretty decent EHP. Right, very few things will kill you, and most of the time it's either dots or you just not paying attention and dying to something, <laughs> or like some 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 slam or nuke or something. Yeah. All right, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, good luck with your league start, and I'm out. Bye. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, how do you get free respects? Don't use the regret points you get from quests. Go to uh, the King's March, which is the new uh, league area. And then you speak to the specialization vendor or something where you can re-specialize, which is you can respec for free until you hit maps. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys. I'm out. Bye.